JP Haney back at you with another video. Uh, my name is JP, uh, John Paul, and uh, my channel is about, um, it's about fashion, okay? Uh, fashion, I would say confidence as well, all right? So I have several episodes out there, and I encourage you to go back and watch even the older episodes, all right? But what I'm here to talk to you about today is to give you more insight on a couple of things, all right? I'm gonna give you some nuggets and some information that will help you, okay, to be able to uh, enhance your, uh, your confidence, all right? It's gonna also help you with your style, all right? And you're not gonna have to break the bank to do it, okay? So oftentimes you'll see a lot of the pieces I wear, they may be, you know, uh, I, would, I would call it maybe high fashion or more, um, I guess luxury or luxe brands you don't always have to wear that, okay? And so the clients that I have styled, um, I often tell them, you know, let's start in your closet first. Let's shop your closet, okay? Before we even go to any store, we shop their closet, okay? And so um, with that, I'm gonna give you nuggets, gonna give you tips. You know, stylists, you know, we need stylists, but I'm gonna give you nuggets to where if you can't afford a stylist, I'll give you that information. I'm gonna help you. Okay, so take this moment right now and subscribe to the channel because it helps me. I'm gonna be able to put out more and more content to help you, okay? I'm gonna give you information. So subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you like the episodes. And lastly, drop a comment. You know, so you can say whatever you wanna say in the comment. I mean, I don't care even if it's bashing me because what it does for me, it helps me to make even more episodes. Okay, if you like the, uh, the video, like it and tell me what you like most about it. You know, if I give an outfit, I'm showing you an outfit, you know, tell me which outfit is, is your favorite. Okay, so this episode is going to be about different ways to, um, to wear a suit. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, <clears throat> two suits. Okay, I'm going to show you two suits. And uh, with these suits, I'm gonna show you different ways to wear those suits, okay? So I have, a, I have a black one I'm gonna show you, and I have a gray suit. Both of these suits are custom made, um, and I got them for a real good price, by the way. It's a, a gentleman here in Houston. He's actually, I believe, between Houston and Dallas, and he makes uh, uh, some dope suits. And um, I got them dub double-breasted, okay? So I have on a single-breasted suit here you know, which, uh, which is usually the most common suit nowadays. But, uh, but those are double-breasted, and I'm gonna show you different ways to wear those suits, okay? So before we go into that piece of the video, I just wanna address a few comments that were made in previous posts that I've made on both social media and on YouTube, okay? So you oftentimes have people that'll go in the comments and they'll say, hey, I would not have worn that that jacket or that jacket needs to be a size bigger. Hey man, let me tell y'all something, okay? Let people say what they wanna say, okay? So I will say this, when a designer creates an outfit or a piece, he or she makes that piece to fit us properly. Let me explain. So if it's an oversized garment, then they design, they design that size small to fit oversized. So if you, have, you see somebody, he has a big old sweater on, well, it may be the proper size. It may be the way that that designer designed that, that, that piece. If you see somebody wearing, let's say a denim jacket, and that's gonna be something I'm gonna talk about also is how to properly wear, uh, purchase a denim jacket. You can buy whatever size you want, whatever makes you comfortable, but that designer made it to fit you a certain way. And that's important for you to know. There are no rules in fashion. The only time there is a rule is if you're going to a specific uh, event and they require you to wear certain things according to the way the event is. So for example, if it's a wedding, you know, you don't want to go in there with, with uh, you know, tennis shoes and jeans. I mean, you can wear what you want, but I'm sure that that person that's having that ceremony, they have a dress code because they want the pictures to look elegant. They want everything to look nice. You know, there are some restaurants that require you to wear a jacket. And there are some places that require you to wear, uh, you know, you get the point. So all I'm saying is, there are rules when it comes to that, but there are no rules when it comes to fashion. You know, I'm often reminded of cities like New York, uh, Chicago, 
LA. I'll really say New York. New York is probably our fashion uh, mecca where people don't really care. You can wear whatever you want and nobody's judged. Nobody. And people that are watching that are from New York, New York City, they'll agree because that's not a big deal to them. They, they, they embrace it. They wear what's comfortable for them because it is a city where they have to walk quite a bit. You know, and that's important. I'm going to share with you some nuggets also on that. The importance of dressing for the occasion or whatever it is you're doing. You know, um, if you're going to work and you got to walk to catch the subway or walk to catch the bus, then you're going to have to wear, you're going to want to wear a certain outfit because you want to be comfortable at the end of the day. So you can be comfortable and you can still be stylish. Okay. So we're going to have a lot of fashion talk. I'm going to give you nuggets like that as well. I'm going to show you uh, ways to, to really... Uh, stand out, okay, and not do what everybody else is doing, you know, because everybody's following trends, and it's okay. If you're not into fashion, you're going to follow trends. I get it, but I'm going to show you how to go against the trends, okay, and that's how you stand out. In this country, we often are, um, I talked about this on the live I had earlier uh, today, but in this country, we do what we see rappers do. We do, we, we dress the way we see, um, people on TV dress and uh, we copy that stuff. I mean, a lot of us do screenshots. We have uh, these Pinterest uh, boards and these things that we use to, uh, to give us inspiration, which is fine. But think about if you can really embrace who you really are, okay? And then you go from there with your fashion. That's the way you do it. And when you step out of, uh, get out of your bed, you go in there and you put your clothes on, you feel good about it. You know, Mark uh, Zuckerberg, if that's how he says his name, this man wears pretty much the same thing every day. And he says that he, he, he likes to do that because he don't want to have to think about what to wear. So that works for him. And he feels good about it. And the man's a billionaire. So, I mean, you know, do what works for you. You know, and I'm here to stand against the bullies in the fashion world. You know, you wear what you want to wear. And if you don't want to wear it, don't wear it. Okay. So, uh, anyway... We're going to get into this, uh, these outfits, okay? And uh, tell me what you think about them. Tell me which ones you like, which one was your favorite. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. And what I'll do, I'm going to start uh, from all of the, the previous videos I've done, I'm going to review each piece individually so that you can see these pieces up close and personal. And uh, like I said, I'll answer any questions. I'm trying to be more active in the comments section. So, uh, so let's, let's get it. It's going to be a great year. And I'm here to help you to build your confidence and to look better. Thank you for subscribing. All right. So what we have here is a custom suit by a buddy of mine uh, named Phil here in the Houston area. Uh, he hooked it up, uh, double breasted, got the, uh, the wide bottoms on there. Uh, I have also a, um, a Fendi belt and I have a, a black, um, I believe this is a shirt uh, by Perry Ellis. For those of you who know me, I love their, their shirts. They just fit so well. Shoes are by Louis Vuitton, as you can see there, designed by Virgil. Okay. And so with this gray suit, there are several ways you could actually wear it. All right. So here I chose to wear it a more casual way, yet it's still uh, very stylish. Okay. So you have a nice uh, timepiece on your wrist. You want to make sure you have that. And uh, just wear it with confidence. You know, this is a comfortable outfit and it still looks great. All right. So if you notice, I have my uh, my logo in there on my signature, which is pretty neat. All right. So the next way I rocked this suit was with a uh, button down uh, shirt. And this shirt is also by Perry Ellis. Shoes are by Gucci, which is uh, my favorite. This is uh, these were designed by Tom Ford right before he left Gucci. Um, shades are by Tom Ford, and I put a pocket square there. Uh, did a light gray pocket square uh, just to kind of give it a little contrast. And uh, this look is a very uh, sexy look. Uh, it's, a, it's a look if you're really trying to uh, step out, you're really feeling like a boss. Uh, it's almost like a, a mob outfit. But here is really a mob outfit. So I added the, uh, the shirt and tie. Went with the white, clean look. 
Uh, I got the boots, the Saint Laurent Wyatt harness boots. So it's just a, a very clean look, very clean look. Got the pocket square here. Uh, it kind of elevates the look, sets it off. Look at that fade. It's a nice haircut there. Big shout out to my boy, my barber, Orlando. So this suit here, uh, another custom suit by Phil. And uh, I decided to throw a, a green mock neck under there and uh, red pocket square, just to give it a little pop. Boots, uh, these are Chelsea boots by Saint Laurent. All right, shades are by Tom Ford. And these pants are also uh, slightly flared as well. So yeah, so this is a, a very clean look and uh, very comfortable and, uh, and stylish. There's so many ways. When you have a gray suit, a black suit, I mean, there's so many different ways you can wear it. I mean, look at them as in investments. And so here I decided to uh, go with the button down also. And uh, I have the, the penny loafers on this time. Uh, so just gave you a different look. It does not have a pocket square, obviously. I just decided to do a, a more elegant yet chill look right here. Very comfortable. I did the penny loafers with no socks. It's just comfortable to me that way. I mean, you can wear socks if you want, but I chose to not wear socks on these, or you can wear no-show socks. And then here I put on my specs, my glasses. Uh, I do wear glasses whenever I'm behind my computer or uh, doing a little reading. But uh, yeah, it elevates that style. And then here, I added some sneakers. These sneakers are by Puma. It's a collaboration with Puma and MCM. And uh, this gives it a more sportier look, okay? And then last but not least, I added the shirt and tie. I was on my way to an event when I was wearing this, and so I said, hey, I might as well give them a way to wear the suit, but with the tie, okay? And so here, it really, really, you know, sets you apart from everyone else. I mean, you uh, stand out, the suit fits properly, and uh, it's just clean, okay? Boost your confidence. I mean, this is a confidence booster right here. And you know you got to have the smell good whenever you're looking like this. So, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Tell me which look was your favorite. And uh, I'll be coming to you with more.